this lesson is uh, graphing functions. It's part one of section 3-4, so we cut it up into two. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. And then make sure you guys click the Integrated uh, Math 1 link. I had somebody email me about Integrated Math 2. I won't be able to start that until uh, 2016, you guys. I don't even have a textbook yet, and our, our school is not going to start it until next year. So I'm a full-time teacher, by the way in Sacramento. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get started. So recall the domain uh, equals your input values. It's your x values and your range is your output values or your y values. So we can graph a function by finding ordered pairs that satisfy the function. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson here. Okay, so let's graph this function right here, uh, x plus 3y equals 15. Given the domain, remember, remember these are our x values, uh, our domain is 0, 3, 6, 9. Okay, first, let's solve for y, okay? So we're going to subtract x on both sides, and then those are going to cancel. So we get uh, 3y equals negative x plus 15. Then by the division property, we divide both sides by that 3 right there. And then we get y equals negative one-third x plus 5. Let me slide that up there. All right, now we're going to plug in these uh, domain values for x, uh, 0, 3, 6, 9. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a chart right here. So here they are, uh, 0, 3, 6, 9. And we're just going to substitute in x equals 0 right there, x equals 3 right there, 6 right there, and 9 right there. Notice how these are nice multiples of 3. Well, uh, we kind of knew that right there. They were, we were picking these numbers right here because this was going to be a one-third, and we wanted to take one-third of numbers easily. So we could have done uh, x equal 1 and 2, but then we would have had fractions, and, and we know you guys don't like fractions. So let's plug in those values right there, okay? So then we just crank out our math right here. This is going to be our y value right here, so then we'll have our x and our y value, so it'll give us an xy ordered pair. Okay, so this is 0. 0 plus 5 equals 5. Okay, you with me? Come on, computer. Okay, and then so it gives us the ordered pair 0, 5. So we go 0, uh, up 5. Here's 2, 4. This would be 6, so this would be 0, 5 right there. Okay, all right, and then these are going to cancel to negative 1. Negative 1 plus 5 is um, uh, 4, so we get uh, 3, comma 4. So here it is over 2, 3, and then up 2, 4. So there's 3, 4 right there. Remember, each one of these is going by 2, so half of one is going by 1. So 3 goes into 6 2 times, so it's negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So uh, we, we're going to get the ordered pair 6, comma 3. So we're going to go over 6 and then up 3 right there. Okay, there's 6, 3 right there. And then finally, we're going to get 9, 2 right there, okay? All right, so there's our graph right there, okay? So here's a couple of questions that follow up with that. Let's do one at a time right here. So why do we not connect the points on the graph? Well, the, the domain was 0, 3, 6, 9 only. So this gives the range values of 2, 3, 4, 5 only. So we only have the ordered pairs, uh, these ordered pairs, and we graph these ordered pairs, okay? We only graphed these ordered pairs right there. And the other question was, uh, how would the graph be different if the domain went from, instead of 0, 3, 6, 9, it was all numbers between uh, 0, th 0 through 9. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the decimals and everything. So what would happen is it would be everything in between that. Looks like I have company. My dogs are barking in the background. So we'd still get 2 and 5 for the 0 and the 9 right there, but it would be everything in between it. And so it would give us a straight line segment right there. There would be That would be um, the range right there. So it would give us this graph right there, that line segment graph. And it stops right there. It doesn't have arrows. It stops because it stops at 0 and it stops at x equals 9. So here's x equals 0. Here's 2, 4, 6, 8. Here's x equal 9. And it stopped at uh, uh, y equal uh, 2 right there. Okay, so here was 0, 5. And then here was 9, 2. And everything connected in between it. All right, did you see the difference? So when they uh, give us uh, certain uh, numbers and we plug in those numbers, if they give us a range, then it's all of them. All right, so if the domain is all real numbers, we get an infinite number of points. So we uh, connect the dots when it's all real numbers, and we use arrows to show the graphs go on infinitely. Okay, so you guys have probably graphed this before, y equal x squared, but we're going to go ahead and graph this. And when they didn't say with uh, domain issues, that's this means, this is code word, domain is all real numbers. So we got to graph them all. So what we're going to do is just get some points right here. These are just some. 
And this is how I would teach it in my class. I'd line up the x uh, uh, as negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So we're going to plug them in and square them right here. So let's plug in all those values right here. Okay, negative 3 squared is negative 3 times 3, which is a positive 9. This is a positive 4. This is a positive 1. This is 0. This is 1, 2 squared, 3 squared is uh, 4 and 9. Okay, so we get those. So it gives us those ordered pairs. All right, now let's just um, show what a uh, graph is. So negative 3, 9. So that would be to the left 3 right there, up 9. So right about there. Negative 2, 4 would be a point right there. This one says negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 would be right there. So it gives us all those points, and since it's all real numbers, we connect them, and it goes up like that. So this is called a parabola. We'll talk about this in the next uh, module, I think, or one of them coming up anyways. This is called a parabola. Parabolas come from x squared equations right here. All right. This is not a parabola. This is just an x. This is going to be a line. It's called a linear equation. But it says graph the function. So let's go ahead and make a table right here. You can pick any x values you want. We just chose uh, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. You can choose any x values you want. And we plug them in for our f of x's. So these blue numbers match these ones. And so we plug those same numbers in right there. And then we just crank, crank them out. Okay, so these are functions right here. So we just, it's just like y equals. Remember, f of x is y. All right, so negative 3, uh, or 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Okay, and then uh, this is 0 minus 5. This is uh, 3 minus 5, and so on. So we get these values right here. So that gives us these ordered pairs right there. And then when we graph them, we get those little pink guys right there. And then since uh, um, it didn't say with domain, it didn't tell us that this was the domain. It's everything, everything forever and ever and ever. So we connect this with a line right here and put arrows on both sides right there. The arrows on both sides means infinity, it means we're graphing all the real numbers on that where your domain is all real numbers. All right, this one's another parabola right here. So here we are, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Going to plug them in right here. So they're being squared, and then at the end, you take a negative of that. So here it is, negative 3 squared is positive 9, but it's going to be a negative because of this negative right here. This is going to make them positive. The squaring part is going to make them positive, but then we this negative out here that's not being squared it's going to make it uh, negative. So this is going to be negative 9. This is going to be negative 4. And uh, so here it is. Here's negative 3 squared is 9, but it's negative. Here's negative 2 squared is 4, but it's negative. And similarly, these ones are negative also right there. So we get the ordered pairs, negative 3, negative 9, uh, negative 2, negative 4. Okay, so when we go to the left 3, here's 2, here's 3, it's negative 9. So it's going to be down here. Okay, and then negative 2, negative 4 is going to be right there, and so on. It's going to give us those uh, uh, points right there, and then we connect them up. Okay, and what it is, it's a reflection of that other one. I wish I had copied and pasted that. But it's a reflection of the other one that was a positive x squared. Okay, this is another parabola. This negative just says it's opening down. All right, you guys, that's it for this one. If you're in my class, I would assign, assign that one for your homework. And if you guys could, would you guys click like on this video? Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care.